Team exercise three, make-believe story. During this exercise, the team stands in a half circle at equal distances from each other. The trainer stands in front of the group and starts improvising a make-believe story. Once upon a time there was a pig who was craving a big juicy snack. He approached the horse that was standing in the pasture and said, I am very hungry. Do you know of a place where I could find some good fries, a big fat burger and a strong cup of coffee? The horse replied, I think I know the exact place you're looking for. Right by where I meet my friends every night is a nice dinner. In no time at all the horse and pig were at the dinner. They called for the waiter, but no matter how loudly they called, the waiter didn't show up. They waited and waited, and after a half hour of waiting, the horse and pig were becoming impatient. And then. At this point, the trainer points to someone in the group who continues the story where it left off. If the person was paying attention to the story, he'll know how to continue. For example, after a long time of waiting, the horse and pig saw the waiter in the distance and he was walking towards them. The waiter approached their table and said, can I take your order? Indeed you can, the horse said. We would like some burgers, fries and two strong cups of coffee. Oh, I'm sorry, said the waiter. We've changed our menu and only offer healthy things like pears, apples, bananas and fresh fish. In other words, everything except the big juicy snack. What the heck, the pig said. The pig couldn't believe his ears and felt an uncontrollable rage growing inside. Then give us a pie, cried the horse. No, the waiter said, we don't have that either. Then the horse got angry and began to argue. An uncomfortable atmosphere arose. And then. Now the trainer points to someone else in the group to continue the story. Sometimes a person may draw a blank and not be able to keep the story going. If this happens, the trainer let him know that he will come back to him later and then point to someone else in the group. The trainer should encourage the person who blanked to picture the story in his mind as he listens. This will help him add to the story the next time he's chosen. The horse was so hungry and angry that he sat on the waiter. The person who blanked should be listening very carefully and picturing the story with his own imagination. When his turn comes up again, he can successfully continue the story and add his own imagery. Out of nowhere, an elephant is standing in the room, holding the burgers, fries and coffee. The waiter is startled. Listen elephant, we can't serve that kind of unhealthy food here. Now the pig is standing on the waiter. This weight is too much and he crumbles to the ground and then runs away. The pig and the horse run to the elephant and ask if they can have his food. Of course, says the elephant. He slides the food from his back and the pig and horse fill their stomachs with the delicious burgers, fries and coffee. The exercise continues. Team members being chosen at random until everyone has had a turn to contribute to the story. If the exercise goes well, the trainer can give feedback and then start another round. Read the description below this video on YouTube for more information on how to give the best feedback to a team. And please subscribe to our channel to see more team exercises to improve cooperation and communication.